Let me begin by thanking His Excellency, the Governor of this state, Governor Abdullah Sule, for the visionary zeal uh, he has deployed in three and a half years or so in making this state, uh, Nasara State, possibly uh, the number one uh, agri investment place of choice. I think uh, that this, the completion of this project, and he's told the story already of how this started and how it stalled, but now it's been completed. I think the completion of this project is a tribute to his commitment to making this state a notable state for agriculture. We were here a few months ago for the Nasarawa Investment Summit, and so many commitments that were made then, were made, I think, on account of the fact that many investors, many notable investors, feel comfortable working in this state. It is clear uh, that your support for this project is fundamental, not just in completing it, but also in all that we're hearing today about the great potential for uh, other investments. I'd also like to thank the good people of the uh, Panga local government, led by the Paramount Chief, uh, my learned friend, Vice Chair Joel Aninge, the Ojong Nyapa, for your far-sightedness in encouraging the location of this project here. I think it takes a great deal of far-sightedness, and as you said, you know, despite some of the initial apprehension, you are able to summon uh, the courage and vision required to enable this sort of project here. I also bring you all the very warm compliments and uh, greetings of President Muhammad Buhari, who, as you know, passionately believes in the role of agriculture as a key driver of job creation and economic growth in Nigeria. And of course, he sends not just his greetings, but his congratulations to all of the partners that made this possible. As we've heard from Uche, in fulfillment of one of its key mandates, the NSIA has over the last 10 years invested in different subsectors of the agricultural value chain. In 2014, we know that the Fund for Agricultural Finance, FAFIN, was established by the NSIA in partnership with the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development and also the KFW. In 2016, his Excellency the President set up the Presidential Fertilizer Initiative to address the problem of cost and availability of fertilizers. NSIA was enlisted by His Excellency as the project implementing entity. And over its five-year run, from 2017 to 2021, the program delivered 30 million 50 uh, kg bags of NPK fertilizer, the 2010-10 version, to Nigerian farmers. It resuscitated fertilizer blending industries and a lot of fertilizer blending factories, over 60 of them who were otherwise moribund, scattered across the country. It created hundreds of thousands of jobs, direct and indirect, and it enabled us to, con to conserve almost $100 million in foreign exchange. Now that the sector has been reactivated, the NSI's role in the fertilizer value chain has now moved upstream. The program was resuscitated in 2022. The Nike NPK Limited, which was the special purpose vehicle through which the NSIA has run that program, and that has been acquired now fully by the Federal Ministry of Finance Incorporated, MOFI. In 2018, the NSI invested $5 million in Bobangona, a high-impact, scalable agricultural franchise that seeks to, uh, to, provide sustainable, um, to provide sustainable improvement in the lives of smallholder farmers. And one of the very important things that the, that, 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 that uh, investment did was to be able to provide credit inputs, training in good agricultural practices, harvesting and storage, and also marketing services. So Babangona was able to provide a wide variety of services on account of the 
$5 million investment that NSI made. So we see that the NSI has developed, you know, and we're talking of just one aspect of the NSI's work. And I want to blow the trumpet of the NSI because the NSI is a very important, is, is a very important arm of all the, the, uh, the efforts of not just the federal government, but all of the states put together, as you know, all the federation, the states of, of Nigeria, as well as the federal government, jointly own uh, the NSIA. But the reason why we are here today it, is that in 2017, as we've heard, the NSIA established an agriculture development fund under a 50-50 joint venture with the old mutual group of South Africa. And in the same year, they made a commitment of $50 million, $25 million each, both uh, partners, $25 million each, towards the development and investment in large-scale agricultural projects, combined with outdoor schemes, in areas that address both unemployment, local production growth, and food security. In 2018, the fund committed $29 million towards the acquisition and two-phase development of what is now known as the, Pand uh, the Panda Greek Novum Farms, the Panda Greek Novum Farm, or the Panda Greek Project, an animal feed processing business with backward integration through the farming of maize and soya beans, as we've heard uh, a lot already about that. Between 2018 and now, despite all the global challenges the COVID-19 pandemic and the uh, problems with the value chain on account of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the fund has successfully completed the development of this farm, the Panda Greek Novum Farm. And some of the key milestones that have been achieved under the project are the installation of the 147,000 metric tons per annum capacity poultry feed meal the installation of 75,000 tons of storage infrastructure, two silos, six bunkers, as well as 35 tons of raw material and finished good storage, the installation of 750 hectares of center pivot irrigation system, the leasing of 3,500 hectares of land for the cultivation of maize and soybeans, the construction of a 1.4 million cubic meter reservoir for water management and the successful planting of 856 hectares of maize in the, 200 and, and the 2021 uh, wet farming season. And now, as we, as, as we have seen, just as we arrived, 1,200 hectares of maize during the uh, 2022 wet farming season. In addition to all of these commendable achievements, Panda Creek also built boreholes for all six of the neighboring communities here. They developed an outdoor scheme, provided inputs and training for over 500 smallholder farmers. They employ currently almost 800 direct staff and 2,000 indirect staff, making it today the largest contributor or PAYE, as we are told, to Nassau State Government. Today, and today, this is probably the largest farm, the largest maize farm across the country. So we must all commend the hard work and diligence of the board and management of the NSIA and Panda Creek Novum on the successful completion of this fantastic project, as the chairman has rightly described it. I must equally commend the partners, the team from Old Mutual Assets Managers Signature at Greek Investments, who not only part finance this project, but also ensured that it has been developed and operates at the highest international levels of technical capacity. So what we see today confirms that there is opportunity in Nigeria for solid investments in agriculture, while government commits to, uh, to creating an enabling environment we will look to the private sector for the investments to galvanize growth in this sector. And we must indeed work together to redefine agriculture for the future of Nigeria. Once again, I say thank you to the sponsors of this great project and encourage you to see this achievement, no matter how great, just as the beginning of what is possible 
in our great nation. I thank you for your time. God bless this project. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs>